dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about a numerical on a injector system a four cylinder four stroke diesel engine develops a power of 180 kilowatt at 1500 rpm the bsfc is 0.2 kg per kilowatt hour at the beginning of injection pressure is 30 bar and the maximum cylinder pressure is 50 bar the injection is expected to be at 200 bar and maximum pressure at the injector is set to be about 500 bar assume the following c suffix d that is coefficient of discharge of fuel for injector is equal to 0 0.7 specific gravity of fuel is equal to 0 0.875 Atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 bar. Effective pressure difference is equal to average pressure difference over the injection period. So, with the help of all this given data, we have to determine the total orifice area required per injector if the injection takes place 15 degree, 15 degree of crank angles or crank travels. So, this is uh, about the given data. So with the help of this, so we can write the given data. The power is given in the problem 180 kilowatt. RPM is given that is equal to N 1500 RPM. So we can convert it into RPS by divided 60. So 25 RPS. Uh, N suffix psi value is nothing but N by 2 for 4 stroke engine. So N is 1500. So divided by 2 here we can get. Uh, 750 rpm and again uh, if we want to convert into rps so we can convert it into rps uh, by divided so 12.5 rps this value will come uh, 750 divided by 60 itself so bsfc is again given 0.2 kg per kilowatt hour so convert this into kg per kilowatt minute so this would uh, 3.33 into 10 to minus 3 uh, kg per kilowatt minute. So the injection pressure is already given 30 bar, cylinder pressure is given 50 bar and uh, both are the actual pressure because the, the number of pressures are given in the problem that's why at the beginning of of injection pressure is 30 bar so this is the beginning injection pressure actual and the maximum cylinder pressure is 50 bar so these things are given in the problem 30 bar is the actual pressure and cylinder pressure so at the beginning the pressure should be injection pressure and at the in this case if you read carefully the maximum cylinder pressure is 50 bar so this is the pressure of injection and this is the pressure of cylinder and both are at actual and similarly one more pressure is given in the problem and that is nothing but for the the injection is expected to be at 200 bar so the expected pressures are also given so expected injection pressure at the beginning is 200 bar and expected injection pressure at the end is also given so expected injection pressure uh, at the beginning is 200 bar and maximum pressure at the injector maximum pressure means at the end so it is said to be about 500 bar so this is also given in the problem expected injection pressure at the end is equal to 500 bar so with the help of this given data we can uh, solve this particular problem the step number one is again to solve such kind of a problem is uh, power output per cylinder. We have to calculate this one. So the power is given 180. So for per cylinder, number of cylinders are 4. So 180 divided by 4 here we can get 45 kilowatt is the power output per cylinder. So similarly the second step that is fuel consumption per cylinder. Uh, we have the formula power. Kilowatt is nothing but the power per cylinder into BSFC. So we have just calculated the value 45 power output per cylinder. So put the value 45 into the BSFC value is 0.2. So the fuel consumption per cylinder will come 9 kg per hour. So fuel consumption per cylinder is again equal to this uh, calculated 9 kg per hour so we can convert it into kg per minute so divided by 60 and we can get 0.15 kg per minute similarly the third step is uh, 
fuel injection per cycle so fuel injection per cycle is equal to fuel consumption per cylinder per minute divided by number of cycle per minute so with the help of this formula we can calculate the fuel injection per cycle so all the values are given in the problem put it fuel consumption per cylinder is already calculated for per minute 0.15 and uh, number of cycle per minute is nothing but ni value so we have calculated the ni value also so finally we can get 2 into 10 to minus 4 kg and convert it into gram and that becomes 0.2 gram so this is the fuel injection per cycle so after this one the next one that is uh, fourth step time for injection so again we have the standard formula for calculation of time for injection theta divided by 360 into revolution per minute by 60 uh, this 60 is divided to convert uh, this rpm uh, to second so rps so we have calculated the answer 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 second so please put all the values and try to calculate with your own calculator for the practice purpose and check down the whether answers are correct or wrong okay so this would 1.67 into 10 to minus 3 second so after step number 4 the next step uh, that is step number 5 that is pressure difference at the beginning so what is given in the problem so the initial pressure at the beginning is given 200 uh, in this case the different pressures are given injection pressure is 30 bar this is the actual pressure and what is expected expected injection pressure at the beginning is 200 so what is the difference between this uh, beginning pressure that is 200 minus 30 so likewise uh, here we can calculate this uh, uh, pressure difference at the beginning is 200 minus 30 so write down this particular equation or the formula pressure difference at the beginning is equal to expected pressure at the beginning minus actual pressure at the beginning so this 200 minus 30 that is expected pressure minus the actual pressure 170 bar here we can get so similarly the pressure difference at the end that is cylinder pressure so here in the given data so the cylinder pressure is 50 bar this is the actual and the expected is 500 bar so this 500 minus 50 so that comes 450 bar this is the pressure difference at the end that is cylinder pressure so finally we can calculate the average pressure difference so how we can calculate average pressure difference injection pressure minus cylinder pressure we have to calculate the average pressure difference so this is the 450 bar and this is the 170 bar so this 450 plus 170 divided by 2 because we are going to calculate the average and that becomes 310 bar and finally uh, the velocity of injection formula we know c sub d into 2 uh, multiplied by injection pressure minus cylinder pressure divided by rho f so we have calculated this uh, average pressure difference that is uh, 450 plus 170 divided by 2 and that is equal to 310 bar so put directly this 310 bar over here and uh, this is the average pressure difference and uh, that becomes the equations calculations and we will get the injection pressure will equal to 186.33 meter per second okay so after this one the next step that is step number seven volume of fuel injected per cycle so we have the formula of fuel injected per cycle divided by density of fuel that is rho sub x f so we already calculated all the values put over here and get the answer 2.28 into 10 to minus 7 meter cube and finally we have the area of orifice that is pi by 4 d square is equal to volume of fuel injected per cycle divided by injection velocity into injection time and put all the values uh, whatever we calculated and the things are given in the problem so finally the diameter will come 9.66 into 10 to minus 4 meter so again dear friends if you concentrate on this particular uh, problem the different steps are depending on each other and accordingly we can uh, calculate it and finally we can get the required thing so i hope you understood the all varieties of problem on the injector systems so thank you so much for watching